Babies, welcome back. So I'm doing a three parlay series, and at the end you're gonna know how to bleach, pluck, make your frontal wig, and how to install it. So this is how the end result is, and in this specific video, part one, I'm gonna show you how to bleach and pluck your frontal. I sip way too much drink. I don't think I can think. So, I'm using stomach hair from AliExpress. I'm using three 18 inches and a 16 inch frontal. Alright guys, so we got the frontal. And what you want to do is comb the hair so that the bleach doesn't get on any hair. Especially the baby hairs. I know you like my little design, three part lace frontal series. I'm using a 30 volume developer. And I'm using BW2 bleach. And I added two scoops. And when you mix it, you want to make sure your consistency, consistency is thick so the bleach doesn't get on the hair. And you definitely don't want that. And I also made a video before on how to bleach your clothes and all that stuff. So you guys could like, you know, check that out. So when you're mixing your bleach and developer, you want to make sure you're not mix, put, pouring in too much developer. You want to do it as you go. And when I bleach my frontals or closures, I add red gold corrector so my closures and frontals will come out so brassy before i go on guys i want you to know that i'm sorry about the lighting in this video especially later on when i'm washing the hair out the bleach out i'm sorry guys my bathroom lighting is trash and i wanted to record it and show you guys what i use so please forgive me but you don't want your uh, your mixture to be thick I mean, well, not thick. You don't want it to be liquidy, like I said. So it's going to seep through the lace and get on the frontal. So I flip the frontal over, and I'm going to dab the bleach on the frontal. You want to dab. Don't rub it in, but dab. Look at my dad. And we're on to washing the bleach out. Like I said again, guys, I'm sorry for the lighting. I really am. So you want to make sure you want to, yeah, you want to make sure, sorry, you wash off all the bleach first before you shampoo or condition it. So I'm going to wash off all the bleach, scrub it all out. And then for the shampoo, I'm, you want to use a neutralizing shampoo first. Neutralizing shampoo stops the bleach from continuing i'm using the iso plus neutralizing shampoo and then after that if i feel like sometimes i don't do this all the time but if, if i feel like the um some of the bleach got on the hair then i'm gonna use the purple shimmer light shampoo and leave it on the frontal for about 15 minutes you know so after i'm done washing neutralizing shampoo out I go in with the purple bottle of the Shimmer Light Shampoo and the Shimmer Light Shampoo makes your lace less brassy or orangey and that makes it look better actually. So I leave it on 15 minutes, put it all over the lace and then I just wash it out and then blow dry it. done washing I blow dry the lace now it's time to pluck it pluck 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 the lace front toe all right so this is like a very important part you wanna you don't want to over pluck your lace because you definitely don't want to have bald spots after getting a whole brand new lace front toe that you spend mad money on and then you end up getting a bald spot I know you don't, 
that's the, not good at all. So to pluck your frontal, you want to start plucking behind the hairline. So you want a, a, a good method that I use is that I grab the hair and then I start plucking a, a little bit behind the hairline. And then after that, I'm going to grab the front piece of the hair and start pl plucking behind the front piece. As you guys can see, I'm not plucking in a straight line because you don't want your lace frontal to be uniform. You want it to look so natural because no one's natural hairline is in a straight line. So what I'm doing right now is grabbing the hair that came, that I plucked out. And then you want to grab the front piece of the hair, those are going to be the edges. And then I'm putting mousse on it to get them out of the way. And you want to start plucking behind those pieces of hair. Another discretion guys, okay. So I, the way I was struggling, you guys don't understand the way I was struggling to freaking record this video. Because my tripod stand broke and that's why you keep seeing the mannequin head like switching turning places so much because I was trying to hold it in place but yeah so I went around and started doing the same thing plucking in random places all around the hairline and then after that I'm gonna take the front piece of the hair with my comb and then start cutting the edges out so for the edges you don't want your edges to be so long but you want them to be um, short so it could look more natural I mean, it's your preference because some people like a lot of edges, some people don't. I personally don't like a lot of edges. So you want your edges to be short and you don't want to put so much edges on your lace frontal. You want to put enough edges. You don't want to put a lot, but then again, you want to put enough to cover the lace because you don't want to be walking around like, oh, what lace, what frontal, and then people can see your lace. Like, you don't want that to happen. So you need enough edges in the front to cover the lace when you're gluing it down or whatever I already know you guys see how natural that frontal looking already Ow! but for my edges I also use a razor to give it not to give it like a blunt cut but I'm just customizing it now to see if I'm filling it or not and I'm gonna add more mousse to hold those edges down and then I'm gonna use the edge brush that I got from my local beauty supply store and I'm just gonna you know see if I'm filling the edges or not if I want to add more and then we're basically done with our plucking so we're gonna go on to the next step which is making your wig I know y'all want to know how to make a lace frontal wig so stay tuned for the part two of my three-part lace frontal series we are sip the honey for the day baby bad man we no straight baby oops I done fell for you way baby 